Hey everybody, Aaron Couch, Sage Dynamics. This video, we're going to be taking a look at the G-Code Scorpion Softshell Magazine pouches and their operator's belt. Seems like every time I turn around, there's a new magazine pouch on the market or there's an updated version of an existing magazine pouch. Um, the G-Code Scorpion, if you're familiar with the, the first variant, it was a, it was a hard shell system um, and it was a great pouch, still is a good pouch, but it did have a significant drawback in certain, in certain applications, depending on where you wore it, that it had too much tension and it made it difficult to free the magazine from it if you weren't able to generate a lot of leverage, like from a plate carrier or something like that. Uh, and I think that G-Code definitely took that to heart, redesigning the second variant, the soft shell version of the Scorpion pouch. Uh, already, I think these are probably my favorite pouches ever. Uh, I've been using, obviously, magazine pouches for a long time, and there have been many, 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 many different variations of different pouches and different ideas that have been attempted in the past. Uh, but most people just stuck to the tried-and-true method of make a cloth pocket for your magazine and provide some level of retention through, like, a shock cord or something like that. It wasn't until probably the last 10 years that people started looking at the pouch itself, especially the way G-Code did it, and applying pressure to the magazine so you didn't need undo, like, kangaroo straps or anything like that because those take time. And they can create issues with snagging on other gear, snagging on, you know, foreign objects and things like that. So the new Scorpion soft cell pouch, what's awesome about it? Well, it's, uh, it's AR, AK variant um, uh, compatible. So if you have an AR-10 or an AR-15 or you run an AK 545 or 762 by 39 your mags are going to fit in these pouches. Um, the, uh, the way that the body is designed, you're looking at um, nylon and a Santaprene soft shell frame. So... All the tension is on the sides of the magazines versus trying to trying to apply a great deal of tension to the entire body of the magazine. That's good, especially for those of you running those ARAK variant, because as you know, the way that your magazine is designed, you have a uh, asymmetrical tension point on on that uh, that that cam that locks into the receiver of the AK platform. Uh, with a lot of older pouches or certain uh, simpler pouch designs, either they won't fit or that asymmetrical cam or lug or whatever you want to call it actually damages the magazine pouch pretty pretty uh, pretty quickly and it keeps you from being able to use the things long term um, when it comes to that platform there haven't been a lot of great pouches designed specifically for it uh, other than um, the old school flat button pouch um, chest rigs that you saw coming out of like soviet bloc russia and then later on and just out of the countries that still use the ak platform as their service rifle uh, with the soft shell, you have the option of if you run an AK, like this thing's already set up ready to go. Uh, it's got a molded back plate, so you have more mounting options than you would normally have with uh, just a traditional nylon soft pouch. Um, and because of the way that the tension is designed, like I said, the tension is run on the side of these mags, it allows you to clear magazines from this pouch, especially like on a, on a plate carrier. I'm able to get a strong purchase on the magazine. I don't have to come straight up. I can actually come up and out, which makes clearing the magazine pouch a lot easier. I don't have to do a full draw, full unsheathing of the magazine, and then rotate my arm around and get it underneath the gun. I really appreciate that a lot. Uh, the level of retention is obviously going to be um, commensurate with what you'd expect from their older Scorpion pouch. Uh, but it has the added benefit of I can draw magazines from this pouch easier no matter where it's placed on my kit.
Now I can't speak to long-term service life yet, but if the original Scorpion is any indication, these pouches are going to have, you know, they're, they're going to probably outlast the magazines you put in them. Uh, as long as you, you know, take special care to make sure that, that they're not getting unduly beat up or, or chewed on. Um, as far as mounting options go, mounting accessories go, they have the new mounting system, the, 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 the R2, the P2, um, which I'll show you a little bit here. Um, it's actually a pretty ingenious design. I, it, it definitely simplifies the addition of the pouch to certain kit. Now, it's not compatible with every mounting system out there. It's specifically, well, I wouldn't say specifically, but it, they designed it with the operator belt, which we'll get to in mind. Uh, but I mounted it on a PAL system and on a Molly system. There was a little tensioning issue just because the, the dimensions weren't quite the same because it's coming from two different manufacturers. But I was able to run these on my plate carrier, uh, even though they weren't designed for that particular spread of uh, mounting points. And I didn't really have any potential or have any issues at all with it. As you can see with uh, just showing you the R2 right here, the way the, uh, the coupling system works and the way it locks into place, basically you feed it through and then you'll just snap that cover right over um, the male end and that locks it in place. And that does require a significant amount of frustration to overcome. So incidentally, having these things come unfastened is probably pretty unlikely. Scorpion soft shell is also available for pistol pouches. Uh, so you have uh, two, they actually offer two heights. You got a tall and a short, depending on what, you know, what size magazine you're going to use, but it'd be a compact or, or one of those super full size, like 22 rounder Glock mags or larger. Um, you could run the, uh, the stick mag in there really, really easily if you really had to or wanted to or needed to. Uh, and it's stackable, it's system stackable, just like the AR mags, they have two attachment points on there so you can stack your pistol mags on top of the Scorpion Softshell AR mag or you can stack your pistol mags on top of each other and the attachment system, um, both, again, just like the, uh, the AR pouch, you've got a molded back plate that, you, that has brass threading so you can change your mounting system and it's the same nylo, uh, nylon Santa Soft Softshell frame so it's exactly the same pouch, it's just for pistol mags, rifle mags. On to their, their operator's belt. One thing I like that they did is they included an inner and an outer belt in the system, and that's helpful because if I buy an outer belt system and I need an inner belt system, uh, say, you know, I'm like, well, I'll just use any old belt. That's not necessarily the greatest thing because maybe your buckle's going to interfere with it or it's going to, it's the, the widths are going to be inconsistent. So if you have to use belt keepers and if you don't have an inner belt, chances are you will have to use belt keepers. And that complicates things. So with their inner belt, really simple um, nylon with a, uh, an outward loop pile. And a, and a G hook buckle with a generous amount of Velcro to make tensions adjustments as needed. And basically what you do with this is you just put it on like you would a normal belt, fasten it wherever you're going to fasten it, get it super tight, and then you apply the operator's belt to the outside of it. Now onto the outer belt, the operator's belt, Cobra buckle. Cobra buckles are great. There's no reason to try and reinvent the wheel when there's such a great option that already exists for uh, a very secure, very intuitive, very easy to operate belt system that, that's definitely a significant improvement on older cam systems that they had and older belt mating systems and quick releases and key releases and everything like that. The Cobra buckle is pretty much the industry standard when it comes to a hard use buckle system. Uh, the belt itself is, is, is a very, I wouldn't say unique design, but it's a new, I guess, look at an older idea of creating indexing points, so a static grip position to where I cam my stuff in with their R2 or their P2 system. I get feed it in there, it gets locked in place, and it's not allowed to shift or move on the belt at all. It stays exactly in that neighborhood of where I wanted it to be. Now, if I'm using an individual pouch, there is a slight degree of play, not much at all. But if you needed to shift things just slightly forward or just slightly to the rear, there is enough play in that little pouch area to do that. But it's again, it's not gonna allow your pouch to slide all the way around to the back of the belt if you don't want it to. Uh, the inner belt is you have a hook pile, so it attaches to that inner belt and it eliminates the need for belt keepers. I'm usually very suspicious of systems that say no belt keepers, no suspenders needed, because if you carry a lot of weight on your belt, especially for a law enforcement purpose, if you're carrying a gun and a radio and a taser and a baton and two magazines and a spare AR mag and handcuffs, that's a lot of weight. Uh, belt keepers are usually necessary to overcome that weight or at least to keep the belt from riding down on your pants no matter how cool the attachment system is. The way that they stitched both the inner and the outer belt is they took the threading almost all the way to the outside of the addition of the loop pile or the hook pile 
And that basically maximizes the contact real estate between the two things. That's a super tiny detail that a lot of sewers may have or definitely do overlook. And I appreciate the fact that the stitching in general is amazing. But the stitching when it came to the attachment points was super cool. Another added benefit of that is the, the, the further the stitching goes to the side, the less likelihood there is for something to catch under that seam or catch under that edge of fabric and start to, over time, pull it away from what it's sewn to. I wish I could incorporate the operator's belt into everything I do. I wish I could use it for concealed carry, but it, it is a little too high profile uh, for, for general concealed carry. Maybe in the winter when it's super cold, wearing jackets all the time, I'll be able to get away with it. Uh, but for uh, exposed carry when I'm going to run a uh, retention holster because uh, anytime I'm carrying a firearm exposed unless there's some kind of special purpose I, I want a retention level holster which is a totally different topic but anyway the, the operator's belt is going to give me the option to run a level 2 or level 3 holster and it's, it's it uh, provides enough rigidity that I don't have to worry about bringing belt with holster when I try to draw from a, from a level 2 or a level 3 and I really appreciate that because there are some other range belts or war belts or battle belts or whatever you call them that are out there that they look really cool and they look the part, but they don't provide the same degree of stability that I need for a, a sure draw on the handgun or a sure draw purchasing a magazine. Uh, some belts even then, the, the fabric is so loose or the design wasn't well thought out enough that I'm going to have issues with, with positive pressure on retention, positive pressure on drawing. And if you've never experienced it, then you're lucky. But there's just some systems out there, and I remember be, you know, being law enforcement, being issued systems that just weren't as good as they could have been because no one thought like, hey, you know, you need stability on the object itself to provide back pressure or to provide resistant pressure, to provide a stable uh, seating platform to draw something. And I know it's like, well, those are super fine details, but those details are super important. You know, I don't want a belt that only only allows me to get my gun if I do my draw just right, or if I grab that pouch and pull straight up, I don't want to have to deal with that. So I appreciate the fact that the operator's belt has a good degree of rigidity to it, but it's not so stiff that it's uncomfortable to wear for hours on end. If you're not familiar with G-Code, definitely check them out. Check out the website, and I think you'll find that they provide an answer to any problem that you may have when it comes to ammunition management, storage, um, belt pouches, um, kit in general. Uh, they make a lot of really, really good products. Uh, I've been using G-Code for a while. I'm definitely impressed that they continue to improve uh, on the options that they have available to you. And these new the soft shell pouches, the Scorpion soft shell pouches are awesome. Um, again, it's a magazine pouch. It's not something to get super, super excited about, but I'm pretty excited about it because it finally gives me a better option when it comes to plate carry. And that, that was probably the most thing that I was most excited about is I didn't have to come straight up. I like the ability that I can come outwards as I go up because I'm going to lose leverage the higher my arm goes with that kind of weird draw stroke that you have to do on a plate carrier. Even if I run them low, I still, with a 30-round magazine, am potentially going to have that problem. And if I'm running plus fives on my magazines, that's even worse. Uh, but their product line is definitely comprehensive enough that it's probably going to approach every uh, problem you have. Like their SOC holster is great, especially uh, it gives you a platform where you can change the cowling. So if you get a new weapon light or the weapon light technology improves, you don't have to throw out the whole holster. Uh, you just wait until G-Code offers a cowling for it, and then you just replace the cowling, and then you, you're, you're good to go again. Um, so if anybody asks, a uh, huge fan of the Scorpion soft belt pouch. I'm also a huge fan of the operator's belt. Something, you know, if you don't need them, then, you know, obviously it's not something you're going to worry about. But if you are looking for a better magazine pouch or if you're unhappy with your belt, then G-Code is something you should definitely check out. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.